Hello, welcome to the garden center. My name is Jen, nice to meet you. Do you have an appointment with us? You do, okay. And what's the name, please? Is that with you? Okay. Sound of okay, right. Now it says here that you just want some tips. You moved into a new house and you want to kind of revamp the garden, is that right? Well, I can certainly give you some pointers and help out. Is it just the garden or a conservatory as well? Well, we do some uh, false flowers and things as well. So you can have a look at all the different options and decide what you like best. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll start with the garden first of all. I've got a couple of different types of turf and things to show you that you can choose or if you'd prefer pebbles, things like that. Right. Well, the first turf I have to show you is this short one. As you can see, it's very short and compact. It's easy to wash. You can just hose it down. come in a range of different shades as well and this is the brighter green we do a moss green and a kind of hay green and it comes in rolls of three meters by two meters and you can decide to place it on yourself or we can get one of our staff members to help. Yes. We also do a longer grass like this. All of these are artificial so none of them need any upkeep or trimming or anything like that. So this one's for a more natural look. As you can see it's got some of the more dry hair consistency strands in there as well and it's a much thicker one it's slightly more expensive I guess but it comes in the same size rolls And they're all backed with this thick plastic backing. We do advise that you put down a underlayer first of plastic tarp, um, which you'll get at a discount if you buy a certain amount of the turf. So it's just a 
prevent things like weeds coming through. They also have drainage holes in the bottom so that when it rains it won't all just pool on top of the turf, it'll actually drain through. So there's not going to be any issue with flooding the garden. So do you have a preference? Or would you? Yeah, okay, I'll just note that down. You'd like some of the the longer turf. And do you have any idea what size the area is that you'd like covered? Obviously we'll measure before we come out so we can give you the exact amount we don't want to overcharge or not take enough. <laughs> right. So I'll stick with floor coverings. We do a wide range of pebbles. Yeah. Um, first are these common red stones. these ones. Yep, it's like a, um, a red gravel, almost like a red brick kind of effect. And these can cover any sized area. We recommend that you get more than you need so that when they do end up misplaced things like that because it does happen um, it'll never look untidy or like there isn't enough and again we recommend that you get uh, an underlay so that weeds and things like that don't come through so there's the little red stones that you get. All different shapes and sizes and all shades of the same kind of colour. These are all around the same price range. They are a little bit more expensive than the gravel, but they do look more attractive in my opinion anyway. So we have this dark marble effect on here. Yep, and you can choose to have it all that colour so that it's all a constant dark grey like this. or you could choose to have some mixed in. We do have lighter shades like this cream one, which is extremely pretty. Um, this one it can be used to go around paths and things like that. We don't recommend making the paths with this, it's more gravel that you'd like paths made out of. And it can also go around ponds and inside ponds. And we do have larger versions as well, like this. And you can choose to have a mixture of all of these or some of these or just one if you prefer. Whatever you desire. There are also some that are multicoloured. These ones, for example, come with different amounts of the dark grey and the cream colour. 
so you could choose to have these and it would look like it had lots of different colours anyway so there's that one and we also do these ones come as packs of 10 we don't usually recommend doing the whole garden with these because they are quite expensive and it's more of a a one-off kind of thing um, it's nice if you have guests and they find one for example so these all have various words on this one says love and it's just carved into it and then with a kind of gold on top of the letters and you can get ones that say faith hope, peace, tranquility, things like that. That would be really nice touch, I think, if you're having a barbecue, for example, and friends sitting around, and you could just see one or two of these dotted around. They're even good for outdoor table displays if you have a nice glass bowl and you can place the stones inside any of the different stones I've showed you would be good for that so can I put you down for any of the stones? a pack of the worded pebbles Any particular words or mixed? Okay. And some multicolored. Of the other pebbles. How many would you like? Alright, now we'll move on to decorations. The first thing I'd like to show you is this hanging basket that we do. It's made out of a wicker woven. It has a strong metal frame so it's going to stay together and it just you can hook over your fence or you can attach it to the wall anything like that it's extremely strong and versatile It'll be fine for any weather and it also has this clear plastic inside that's going to keep the water in for the plants but also not allow them to grow out and destroy the actual container itself You can take the plastic out and replace it. We sell the replaceable bags if it gets damaged or anything like that. Just pull it out. Then you can just pop one back in easy enough. We do have it in a few different shades as well. This is the dark. We do it in mahogany and beach as well if you prefer the light broken one. And have you thought about lighting in your garden at all? Mm -hmm. 
we do a few different types. Um, I'm going to show you our most popular at the moment, which is these illuminating sticks. Uh, they're solar powered, so you can see the solar panel just on the top there. And they have this metal rod that keeps them sturdy and then this plastic prong that you can push into the soil and they just stay up. So they light up different colours at night when they're lit up and they come on automatically. So this glass chamber at the top lights up green, yellow, purple, blue, red. It's very pretty. <laughs> and you can get these to line a path, for example, or go around a pond. Maybe at your doorway in plant pots that would look really pretty. We do them in this silver and we also do them in brown and black. You like those? Yeah? I can put those down for you. What colour would you like? The silver. Okay, just write that down. Four hanging baskets hanging baskets in beach yep. and ten of the lights and which colour would you like? silver do you know where you're going to put them? Or probably down a path I think that's a great idea final thing I have to show you are some artificial flowers. I know you wanted to decorate a conservatory as well, but you were worried about perishable flowers and things. Yeah, well these ones require no upkeep other than a little dusting now and then. We have got these large pink lilies. And they come in pink, yellow, and cream. And they've got the bud on. And then two large flowers. With the seeds inside like this. And then the leaves. It's all made out of fabric with a plastic frame and the stem can bend so you can put it in smaller plant pots or vases and it can also go in oasis. We also do sunflowers. We do this sunflower with the dark 
center, which is really pretty. These are obviously smaller than the lilies, so they can go in smaller vases, maybe table displays, things like that. Yeah. Uh, the leaves again are fabric, as are the petals. And again with the plastic stem. So they're totally pausable. I would recommend getting a few different ones so that they all look at different heights and things in the vase or wherever you choose to display them. And we also do the other sunflower which has the lighter center and a slightly bigger area. This one doesn't have any leaves so it's good to fill the pot with different ones so it's not just all leaves. They look really pretty together like this. so glad you came to see me today thank you very much if there's anything else you need help with don't hesitate to ask you can come and measure your garden whenever you like we can put the pebbles down and the turf and have it all sorted for you it usually takes a full day to finish but it will be worth it in the end feel free to check out our outdoor seating and barbecues on your way out Thank you very much. Lovely to meet you.